You know what I love most about flowers? It's when flowers have been baking under the sun all day long. You can smell the flowers, but it's especially at nighttime when it cools off. And the warmth and the cool kind of create this intoxicating aroma of flowers in the air. That's what I love about flowers. And I love wearing floral fragrances. And today I've got the most intoxicating floral fragrances for you. Find out what they are coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, we're talking about flower, flowers, floral fragrances today. I absolutely love floral fragrances. Love them. I love flowers in general. I think uh, God's gift to people. They're beautiful. They have great fragrance most of the time. And I enjoy wearing floral fragrances. And it's summertime, so they smell even better when it's uh, warm outside. Uh, I've got some really great intoxicating floral fragrances. These fragrances I speak about quite frequently, so uh, but uh, I've never done an intoxicating florals uh, video today. This is the first time I'm talking about uh, all these fragrances together. And if you're into flowers, you're going to want to sit through and find out about these fragrances. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the first one, going to the house of uh, Parfums du this is Fleur de Lalita. This one right here. This was recently featured in my Scent Club kit number five. If you haven't sampled or picked up your kit, we have a few more kits, you know, still around. You can pick the, the kit up. It's linked in the info box. Uh, it's a great kit of uh, fragrances, including this one, the most intoxicating one out of uh, Parfums du Cita. This is my favorite fragrance from this house, and it happens to be a green, fresh floral fragrance, perfect to wear in the heat during, you know, you can wear it in the spring, but also perfect in the summertime because it really comes alive. It's got white lily, jasmine, there's exotic flowers, there's galbanum, there's rose de mai with magnolia, there's ambrette seeds with some vanilla, sandalwood, tonka, and ambergris. It's quite musky and it's quite green. It's beautiful bouquet of flowers. In your face very very intoxicating so it's fleur de lalita uh, starting off our list uh, from the house of parfums du cita going to the house of nishane next it's hundred silent ways this one right here hundred silent ways was not one of the fragrances i embraced from this house it took me a while to embrace it but the way i really figured out how to embrace this fragrance is a combin a layering combination it's a hundred silent ways with hachivat the two together make for a very intoxicating aroma come on focus now there we go um it is you don't have to do that because 100 silent ways on its own is vanilla gardenia tuberose peach jasmine orris sandalwood vetiver mandarin so it's got some warmth i would call this an amber floral fragrance because you've got the vanilla there to warm it up also got that sandalwood to give it a creamy vibe there's orris here to give it a powdery vibe on its own it's really beautiful and special but combined with uh, hachivat it's uber intense explosive very sexy combo but the fragrance on its own is quite intoxicating if you haven't tried 100 silent ways and you like amber floral fragrances come on now uh definitely try this one i think you'll be happily uh, satisfied but moving to the next fragrance going to the house of uh thomas de monaco it's occur this one right here and occur is the second fragrance from this house Really beautiful, intoxicating magnolia note here. And just what I was saying at the intro, what I like about magnolia is they bake under the sun and there's this aroma that then you know, you know comes off of the, the trees. Kind of a lemony floral note. It's one of the flowers that's not very distinct in smell, not like a tuberose or you know like a jasmine or gardenia even. It's got floral touches, but it's not like those other flowers. It's a bit more bland, but I like about it. The blandness is very, very unique uh, with this fragrance. And okay, Kerr is focusing loads on magnolia along with pink pepper. There's ambrox in here, a little bit of rose, tonka, and some musk in there as well. Really beautiful. There's definitely a little bit of a DNA of the raw gold, the previous fragrance from uh, this house, but this is a magnolia bomb and it is super delicious to wear in the heat. So this is Occur from the house of Thomas de Monaco, check it out. If you don't know that one, that one's super amazing in the heat again. This next fragrance from the house of Jeroboam. This is Boha, this one right here. Very intoxicating smell, 
Really love this one. It has a bouquet of white flowers and uh, kind of non-distinct white flowers. Could be some jasmine, some tuberose, some gardenia, some magnolia, maybe some lily of the valley thrown in, but just really intoxicating. For me on a strip, this fragrance doesn't smell great on me. It's super delicious. Really, really great great smelling fragrance. One of my favorites from uh, uh, this Jeroboam house. They do have quite a bit of white floral fragrances. This one happens to be my favorite of the bunch and it smells super amazing in the heat once again. If you like white flowers, if you like a white floral bouquet and just an overdose of it with some musk and violet leaves, some powdery notes, then definitely try Boha from the house of uh, Jeroboam. You will be uh, happily satisfied. This next fragrance is from the House of Orange Parfums. This is Callus Subtle, this one right here, or Subtil. Uh, that's the one right there. This is a very unique bottle. Uh, the, the name is right here, actually. I should just show you. Um, so this fragrance is a white floral bouquet once again, but it's got sugar, it's got some saffrony touches, it's got some ambroxan touches. There's definitely a major component of muskiness. And recently I featured this in uh, the uh, Head Turners video. This is one that really garners attention from people. This smells really great because you have a really beautiful sexy trail that you leave. But it's very, very intoxicating because once you smell it, you really want to find out what the smell is. And that's what this fragrance does. It's a really, really amazing fragrance from this house. Very underrated house. I don't even know if they have any distribution here in the States yet, but hopefully they will in the near future. But for now, definitely check out Callus Subtle from Orange Parfums. Hopefully you know that. When I have some videos on the channel, you can do a search for that brand and some videos will pop up uh, in a standalone video as well for Orange Parfums. Moving on to the house of uh, Zerzhov, we have Join the Club 400. This one right here. So this is a tobacco floral fragrance. So it's tobacco blossoms is basically what you have in here. There's a little bit of a dirty ashiness in here from tobacco, but mostly it's the tobacco blossom. And I feel like they don't really advertise the notes to begin with, but sure enough, there are some distinct notes that you can pick up like honey. It's definitely honeyed, so it's sweetened up. And then, of course, that tobacco, where, where it's the flower or the uh, ashiness or the burnt, uh, you know, tobacco ash kind of an experience. You've got lavender here and some other notes. Just a really gorgeous combination of notes. Really intoxicating, I feel like. Zerzhov makes some great fragrances, and this is one of the best, I think. If you like the idea of uh, Naxos, but you want something to go into more of a floral direction, definitely need to check out 400 from Join the Club. Again, they don't really advertise the notes for the fragrances in Join the Club, but I feel like that's kind of what you pick up. And speaking of floral and tobacco combination, here's another one from the House of Amouage. Uh, one of my favorite feminine fragrances from Amouage, it's Portrayal Woman. Very intoxicating in that it's tobacco and really the the kind of ashy kind here for sure. No, no, like floral uh, tobacco, like or tobacco flower. But you've combined it with jasmine here. It's an overdose of jasmine with tobacco. There's some vanilla here, and there's some resinous touches of elemi. The combination is super amazing. It's not necessarily uber feminine because the tobacco, uh, you know, tones down the floral sea of the jasmine note. But you definitely can pick up the jasmine here. So if you like the idea of something very unique, you like tobacco, but combined with a floral note once again this is one of the best um, feminine offerings from uh, Amouage this is Portrayal Woman uh, if you don't know that one do check it out I highly highly recommend it but moving on to the house of uh, Ex Nihilo this is Vesper Glitz this one right here Fairly new fragrance, and it was an instant love, and I bought it while I was in France. It's kind of a, once again, an amber floral fragrance here. We've got mimosa flower, we've got neroli, we've got vanilla, pink pepper, musk, tonka, and ylang ylang. So a bit tropical floral, a bit citrus floral, and of course yellow floral with the mimosa. So it's very powdery, meshed with the vanillic sweetness and creaminess, and of course some spice from the pink pepper. And then you've got the tonka, which creates a bit of an, a spice and nuttiness and a little bit of a tobacco-ish touch here as well really really great fragrance really love vesper glitz i think it's delicious the only complaint that i have with it it might come off a bit designer-ish 
but really love the way that smells. So just check it out. It's an expensive brand. Ex Nihilo fragrances are quite expensive. I think their fri prices should be down like $75, but in the end, they have some great fragrances that are definitely worth mentioning. And Vesper Glitz is very, very intoxicating. So moving on to the House of Frederick Mall, not going with uh, the, the Carnal Flower that probably people think I'm going to go with. I'm going with Lee Mediterranean, this one right here. My favorite favorite lily fragrance this stuff is super amazing and growing up christian orthodox reminds me of easter and you know i'm from the middle east and from lebanon so easter on the coast in lebanon celebrated you got the lily smell you've got the coastal smell that's kind of what this one's all about it's lily with lotus flower angelica orange blossom musk seawater ginger vanilla really really super delicious lilies for me when you smell lilies like especially like easter lilies or just yeah little easter lilies for sure there's a spiciness when you smell it like it almost smells like cloves or some cinnamony kind of a spice and you get that with this one as well because the lily in this is very very authentic super amazing lee mediterranean is super amazing check it out if you don't know that one really is an intoxicating smell then going to the house of acampora bruno acampora this is azzurro di capri one of my favorite fragrances from this house it is an extract version here they have an they have it in eau de parfum and i believe they also have it in an oil don't care for the oil myself the extract is where it's at it's super intense it's very humid floral fragrance capri is a very humid you know island off of italy been there during the humid summer months and i could smell the flowers there i saw some really big flowers blooming and really kind of releasing their aroma and i feel like they've captured it here with this fragrance it's orange blossom jasmine lily of the valley musk bergamot mandarin so it's a fusion of floral notes with citruses very fresh and the extract is more dense and intense really fabulous fragrance i love it azzurro de capri from the house of uh, bruno acampora uh, if you don't know that one uh, you've got to know I, I spoke i've spoken about it quite a bit and really really love it and then another italian house going to the house of uh, tiziana terenzi it's borea i've spoken about this one quite a bit as well this one kind of goes it's an amber floral once again and it goes into a bit nutty gourmand direction and tiziana terenzi fragrances are all extra to parfum so major major lingering power and this one's super delicious again it's an amber floral so you've got the warm notes ambery notes vanillic notes combined with lots of floral notes which includes jasmine coconut tuberose vanilla honeysuckle almonds plums sandalwood pear and rose if you haven't noticed i'm focusing on the non popular floral notes i'm not featuring a lot of neroli orange blossom here i'm also not featuring a lot of rose here because those vid those notes get their own videos but everything else is all game here with uh, the notes here so we've got lots of jasmine and in this case we've got the uh, honeysuckle as well but this one also features the tuberose super delicious gourmandy fragrance uh, from uh, Tiziana Terenzi. It's Borea. Uh, check that out if you don't know it. It's super fabulous fragrance. And then next going to the house of Van Cleef and Arpel. It's Gardenia Petal. This one right here. I don't know what it is about this fragrance, but it reminds me of my mom and dad. My dad's no longer around, but he used to always give my mom gardenias. And this, to me, smells like the gardenias he used to give him. So I have to highlight it here because it's super amazing. And one of the best floral fragrances from this house. They have three different ones. They have California Reverie also, which is jasmine-focused. And Neroli Amara, which is Neroli-focused. But this one, Gardenia Heaven, with white flowers, jasmine, green notes, lily of the valley, citruses. It's freshened up with lots of citruses, but it's lots of flowers with a little bit of green notes thrown in to give you a little bit of a green curve in the fragrance but if you love the idea of gardenia this is super fantastic gardenia petal from the house of come on now this is Van Cleef and Arpel. If you don't know that house, uh, definitely check it out because I think uh, you're going to enjoy the fragrances of that house. But moving on to the house of Van, uh, Wilhelm Parfumery, this is a lilac a day. This is one of my all-time favorite lilac fragrances. It's super fantastic. It reminds me of spring and when you're walking by the lilac trees and that the warmth has heated up the, the flowers on this tree and you can get the aroma, that intoxicating smell. Really love lilacs. The way they smell i buy them every year when they kind of put them out for us to buy because they're beautiful and they have a great smell in here this is a very modern take on lilac blue lilac spring freesia jasmine galbanum black amber and rose and for me it's the galbanum that they've thrown in here that's doing the magic trick for me to appreciate this fragrance love it lilac a day very intoxicating floral fragrance here from the house of uh, wilhelm parfumery 
And then going to a more of a tropical floral fragrance, going to the house of uh, the Harmonist. This is Moon Glory. And once again, we've got uh, an extract. It's actually, they call it a parfum, so full concentration perfume here. But it's definitely tro tropical floral. And for me, when you're in a tropical island or tropical city, it's warm all day, even at night. But still, when you're walking around at night and there is a little bit of a cold breeze, you can smell the flowers really amplified at night. Here, that's what's reminding me of this one. It's lots of jasmine with, there's a honey note here with this. It's, so it's a sweet note. There's ylang ylang, passion flower, orchid cactus, sandalwood, peru balsam and hinoki super amazing very long lasting sweet powdery honey tropical floral fragrance really delicious the harmonist this is moon glory and a wonderful wonderful fragrance if you don't know that one do check it out and then the last fragrance i'm talking about today is another one that i featured over the weekend in the head turners video this is sospiro's dolce melodia this one right here many people have asked me what i'm wearing when i wear this one and i've been wearing quite a bit of it lately because i'm super into this fragrance right now it's a gardenia bomb but with kind of fruitiness and warm notes in there as well so it's kind of an amber floral fragrance loads of gardenia here with mandarin orange there's pear there's black currant so it's a bit fruity with oranges saffron vanilla rose and sandalwood it's super amazing if you don't know this one definitely check it out definitely one of my favorites from this house and really can't get enough of the way it smells i really love wearing it spritzing it all over and just walking around and leaving this really beautiful trail anyway those are the most intoxicating florals floral fragrances that are really intoxicating smell really delicious i love these fragrances love floral fragrances and uh, the more i get into this hobby the more i appreciate floral fragrances so if you're into the idea of floral fragrances let me know put a comment down below so i can find out if you're not into it why do you hate floral fragrances lastly what do you think about these fragrances and can you name any other intoxicating floral fragrances put a comment it down so I can find out. And thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.